Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you need any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one. Salt dissolves in water. Is this a chemical or physical change? Okay, so let's write the definition of a chemical change. Okay, so this is when the product that is formed is chemically different. from the reactant. So in the case of sodium chloride, which is salt, we start off with NaCl solid, and then when it is dissolved in water, uh, the salt separates into its ions. So it doesn't retain its solid structure when it separates into its ions, it becomes sodium plus plus chlorine minus. Okay, so you can see that comparing to the product, the sodium and the chlorine were bonded together to form like a solid, but once it is dissolved in water, because it separates into its ions, the product is chemically different from the reactant, so therefore this is a chemical change. And we can show the opposite of a chemical change, which is a physical change. So this is when there is uh, no like chemical change for the reactant. Uh, so an example of this is let's say we had liquid water and we just heated it up and we get H2O gas. This is just a phase change, but uh, chemically it is still H2O. And then if, if it were to have cooled down, it would just convert back to the liquid. Uh, so physical changes, so this is an example of a physical change, when it's just a phase change of a compound. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Dissolving sodium chloride in water will result in the dissociation of sodium ions and chloride ions in water. By definition, a chemical change is the transformation of one substance into one or more different substances. Therefore, dissolving salt in water is a chemical change because the product is different from the original substance. This is true for all ionic compounds. However, for covalent compounds, such as sugar, the molecules are only dispersed throughout the water, which does not change their chemical identity. Okay, so this solution is correct. Thank you.